At 6.15, Ida, we've been telling you all morning about a mysterious virus that's sweeping the nation. Hundreds of children have had actually gone to the ER, including some in uh, Ohio and Kentucky as well. To help explain what to look for, Dr. Kyle Kaufman is here. He's the Assistant Professor of Internal Medicine and Pediatrics at UC. So we thank you for coming in. Glad to be here. All right, parents are waking up this morning, putting their kids on the bus, and wanting to know, okay, what do we look for? Why is this, and how is this different than the common cold? Well, the virus itself is um, a little bit odd. You know, typically when doctors hear the word enterovirus, we think of a GI illness, okay. you know, vomiting, diarrhea, things like that. But uh, this one, for whatever reason, is causing a respiratory illness. So the initial symptoms are not going to be that much different than your runny nose, cough, maybe a fever that you would get with the common cold. Uh, the difference is that the severity of those symptoms just progresses significantly beyond what we've seen in this kind of viral illness recently. We uh, asked for questions and we've gotten several. One from a viewer, Karen from Westchester. She wants to know how contagious this is and as far as like risks at school. Mm -hmm. So certainly it is contagious the way any viral illness would be contagious. Mm -hmm. So generally spread through aerosolized droplets in the air coughs, sneezes, um, in particular when the moisture from that cough or sneeze ends up on hands mm -hmm. that end up touching things around the house that other people are touching. So that's going to be where this virus is transmitted. What about treatments as far as once, once this is detected? Mm -hmm. So like most viral illnesses, there are not great treatments. Um, generally, we want to support the immune system to help the body fight this off. So supportive care, reducing fever, especially focusing on hydration. And then because this is a pretty severe respiratory illness, we want to make sure that if children are having difficulty breathing, that they seek medical attention right away. One of, obviously, the one thing that parents want to do, and, and, and it's for adults as well, to mm -hmm. be clear, mm -hmm. is to not have it spread in the first place. Mm -hmm. What do we do mm -hmm. to make sure that happens? Absolutely. So um, since it is spread through those aerosolized droplets or through contact with um, infected uh, saliva and things like that, you want to make sure you're washing your hands all the time. Mm -hmm. Kids that have the disease should be washing their hands regularly. Caregivers for those children should be washing their hands regularly. And, um, and then, even in between hand washes, you want to make sure that you're trying not to touch your face, eyes, mouth, things like that. That's how the droplets on the hands get into your body. Dr. Kaufman, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. And uh, we have more on this virus on WCPO.com. If you have any questions as well, go to our Facebook page. It's 9 on your side. You can tweet us as well, at WCPO. And again, thanks for coming in. Hopefully it helped a lot of folks. No problem. All right.